Hello, welcome to Dimu's tutorials. Let us prepare some simple interview questions on limits and fits. Question, what are the types of tolerances? Answer, there are only two types. Dimensional tolerances, used to achieve expected fit. And geometric tolerances, used to achieve expected geometrical conditions. Question, why tolerance is given to dimensions? It is a fact that no dimension in drawing is achievable exact. There shall be a consensus between manufacturer and inspector. To achieve this consensus tolerance is needed to each part. And a product is an assembly of two or more single components. And proper fitment between them is necessary for smooth functioning of product. This assembly is possible only when two components have difference in their mating portions. Tolerances are needed for mating of two or more parts. Question, explain shaft and hole basis system. Answer, IS symbols and fits were created for ready reference of deciding the tolerances as required in assembly. With reference of these codes we can achieve following types of fits. Free running, loose running, easy running, sliding running fit close clearance interference etc. Hole basis system. For specific hole, options for fitment were created with variation in shaft tolerance. Shaft basis system. For specific shaft, options for fitment were created with variation in hole tolerance. Question. How will you define limits and fits? Answer, limits is the difference between upper and lower specification limits of dimension. In the image shown here 20.02 is upper spec limit and 19.98 is lower spec limit. And fits are the result of spec limit. Clearance fit, shaft diameter always less than hole diameter. Interference fit, shaft diameter always greater than hole diameter. Transition, close clearance or close interference between hole and shaft. Question, what are the factors to be considered while deciding type of fit? Answer, we designers should be smart enough to decide type of fit according to functionality of part. Following are some points we shall keep in mind while deciding type of fit. For how many times dismantling of parts is needed in total life of assembly? What is role of part in assembly, is it going to move, revolve, or any other motion? What is expected accuracy level of assembly? Whether assembly allows me lubrication or not? Kind of disassembly needed dot destructive or non-destructive? Beyond that what is raw material of two mating parts? Question. Tell about accuracy level and ease of assembly in three types of fits. Answer, clearance fit will need minimum efforts transition will need medium and interference type fit will need maximum efforts. But on the other hand alignment accuracy level increases from clearance type to interference type of fit. Question, explain types of dimensional tolerances. Answer, there are three types of dimensional tolerances. In bilateral tolerance, dimension is allowed to vary on plus as well as minus side of ideal condition. In unilateral tolerance, dimension is allowed to vary on only positive or negative side of ideal condition. In basic tolerances dimension is shown without tolerance and outlined by a rectangle. Allowed variation is decided by related geometric tolerance. Question, explain application of unilateral and bilateral tolerance with an example of shaft and hole. Answer, unilateral tolerance will work in shaft and hole where clearance or interference fit is needed. Transition fit will work with bilateral tolerance to both shaft and hole diameter. Clearance fit is unilateral. Shaft diameter always less than hole diameter. Interference fit is unilateral. 
shaft diameter always greater than hole diameter. Transition fit is bilateral. Intermediate situation between interference and clearance. Question. Explain application of unilateral and bilateral tolerance with example. Answer. This is manufacturing drawing of item number 10. Look at dimension 24. It has symmetrical bilateral tolerance of 0.02 mm. But why bilateral? Ok here is answer. First this part is going to act as a parallel block or spacer between top plate, 11, and core back plate, 8. These pinks are acting as two pillars to keep ejector assembly intact. The two pillars ideally should be equal in dimension 24. So that they will keep assembly of core back plate, 8, core plate, 1, and all encapsulated inserts and pins in exactly zero tilting position, which will make ejector pins, 4, move in a smooth way. Further it will not result in bending of various ejector pins with small diameters. And point 0. 4 mm difference between two plates will achieve this, which has been decided through past experience. Symmetrical tolerance 0.02 will allow total variation of 0.04 mm in worst case. If operator is smart enough he may reduce this difference to 0.03 or 0.02 or even 0.01. But still the question why bilateral only is unanswered. Ok here we go. Unilateral tolerance can also maintain a difference below 0.04 mm. But practically maintaining a bilateral tolerance is easy than unilateral, when parts do not mate each other. Symmetrical tolerance reduces machine operator's headache. Hence takes less time, hence less manufacturing cost. Wherever possible for non-mating parts, use symmetrical bilateral tolerances, rather than unilateral. Thanks for watching. Log on to dies.biz for more engineering tutorials.